Ayup, welcome to the Festival of Education. How's your day been? Well, wonderful. Yeah? I'm in a golden cage. <laughs> and is this your first time at the Edfest? I visited this college uh, before, but this is the first time to participate in yeah. this festival. Yeah. So, one of the key areas for you um, for education is science and technology. Why do you think it's important that young people continue to be educated well in science and technology? Well, it is a kind of advancement in all fields of our living, like technology, transportation, food, and the environment. Science and technology plays a big role. Yeah. And maybe I'm overloaded on my own experience because I studied science and technology, but it is important to pay attention on natural scientists, physics, chemistry, biology because all it comes from there, ecology, medicine, transportation, technology, and those who like that field, it's a wonderful field to be in. Yeah. So did you set up an institute in order to educate people? Yes. Yeah. We have a cyber uh, school of science technology. That's the name of our university in Sarajevo, and we really push very hard because nowadays science technology because of this advancement in internet in IT you don't need huge capital investments to start that you know, all you need is computer and software and somehow things pick up so uh, yes our country needs a lot of technicians a lot of engineers builders so science technology is very important on the other hand I don't say we should pay less attention on other fields because nowadays the world crisis in the, is in the area of social science, not in technology, yeah, science absolutely. technology. Now the people's mind is a problem, psychology, international relations, politics. That is an area where we need, we need more investments because if you look at the today's world, it's a semi mess so many displaced people as never before. Uh, this post-conflict situations unsettled. So the, it's a time to pay more attention on psychology, the national relation, politics, debates. So this also is a, is a science to solve, to help people shape the better world. Yeah. So we, you see, I, I grew up in a system where in the, when I was your age, it was a communism in my country. So, you know, there was only one religion, that's the Communist Party. So we, we stick to mathematics and <laughs> physics, yeah. you know, which was not yeah. disputable. Yeah. But nowadays, since we have a democracy, we really have to invest more in social science. Look at the situation now. Never before we had so many displaced people in the world as we have today. Refugees, God, local disagreements and so on. So yes, the social science very important. You were talking of refugees. Yeah. You also are a big advocate in educating refugees. Yes. Why is it that you think that it's so important that these refugees are better educated? Well, for two reasons. If you don't educate them, they never become integrated part of the society. Second, if you don't educate them, they'll never go back. Our experience is educated people eventually go back to the old country. They will know how and because of emotional attachment to that country, they go back. And then you have a win-win situation. If they go back, they become permanent bridge between the country that will save them and their old country. If you don't educate the people, they become a problem. You keep them in the slums, in the corner. They never, you basically have to feed them in social, to support them in. So if you accept refugees, help them to integrate, and help them to be educated so we'll not have a problem later. Fortunately, all of us have to accept refugees here and there. You cannot, a mother that carries two children, you cannot say no. Mm. So we have to help them. Of course, if the world politics is healthy, people should not move. So we should do everything to encourage people to stay wherever they are. Yeah. And that means we have to invest in 
stability in politics, uh, so we will not have a Syria, we will not have a Iraq or other countries where refugees usually come from. Well, Ayup, thank you so much for speaking to us. It's been Great fascinating. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Man. Thank you.